Yo, 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 what is going on, ladies and gents? Today, Warzone Mobile development team just blew all the Android haters out of the water. And that is because they've just released the pre-global launch update. And today, we're going to check that out. So the first thing they've just added is FPS options in the settings for Android users. Now, there are a couple of settings. You've got 30, 45, 60, and uncapped FPS options. So you have the freedom of choosing what you want to run and which one will run best on your device. Now, uncapped doesn't necessarily mean 120 FPS for all Android users. What this means is if your device is strong enough to run more than 60 FPS, it will. Now, the Red Magics, the Asus phones, those will most likely be running all the way up to 120 FPS or just under. Now, on top of this, they've just given us graphic settings as well. Now, the graphic settings are as follows. You got minimum, low, medium, high, and then peak. Now, again, some of these may be locked for you. And if they are, that's because your device is not strong enough to like kind of withheld that graphic setting. Now, on the other hand, some of these may be locked because they're not quite available just yet. But ladies and gents, one of my buddies, Ro Smith, has just uploaded a video about an hour ago discussing and showing on the Red Magic device. And we're going to check that out right now. All right, so make sure that you drop a like on this video, guys, because he's supplying us with this footage. But here we have it, the Red Magic. So here we go. He's got it on the best settings you can have it. But Red Magic AS Pro, he has literally just confirmed what device he's using. And I know that he's using that device because that's what we both use. But I've just sold mine recently, which I kind of regret. But according to Roast right now, he's stating that the game is super smooth. Now, the thing is, guys, Roast Smith will be supplying, like, super fast uh, updates for you. Apparently, I couldn't get this video out quick enough um, because I was out busy doing stuff. But this is why we're reacting to Roast Smith right now. And also, I've sold my Android device, so I haven't been able to get you Android footage. Right, I'm not going to lie. But everything feels like it's really ironed out. The graphics does really look good. This looks better than my... I've literally just been grinding iOS all day, getting footage for Global Launch. And I'm not going to lie, this looks better. This looks so much more better than iOS right now. So all the Android haters, you guys are on top right now. So stop with the hate. This update. It looks insane. The global launch update. If you update your Android device right now, it does look really good. IOS soon as well, but everything about it just feels so. I'm great. not gonna lie. Smooth. I'm excited for this device. You can see in the top to come on iOS. It's not going below 60 FPS, which is absolutely nuts. Right. I'm not gonna lie. He's not lying there. Well, it went to 59, but oh it doesn't matter. But the FPS looks I insane. I literally can't get over it. I've updated it. iOS should be coming out today as well. The iOS update, so it should feel mega smooth on iOS. But they've fixed Android. They've actually fixed Android. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I tested it on many Android devices, and it didn't run well. There's a lot of content, so, a lot of, uh, creators that are fair play. Content that it's running just like this on even mid to low end devices. As it well. looks beautiful, so absolutely outstanding. The hate that Walls and Mobile has been getting in, in Twitter and all over social. That's what I was saying. That hate's not going to be anymore because this game just feels amazing. Let me know in the comments. Hit I have I have been saying this for such a long time, ladies and gents, that the game everybody was moaning about, saying it's not ready for global launch. There is something called a developer build and the live version build. So let me explain this to you, right, on how this works. So when you're, when you're programming and developing a game, you're using something called branches, all right? You have the developer branch, the live version branch. You've got maybe graphic branch. Basically, what this means is different departments are working on updates and different versions. I'm not going to lie, two seconds, but most, you are, you are terrible at the game. But basically, how this works, right? So what you're playing is the live version of the game. That is never, ever, ever touched. Never updated or whatever, um, like live updated, unless they release an update and then that live version will be outdated and you'll be playing a new live version. Now, the dev branch, ladies and gents, is what you need to understand what this means. The dev branch is pretty much what the developers are using at the get-go. So, say that you're, you, you're running the beta 2 live version build right now, for example. Now, the developers may be like 
a year and a half in front of that build. But you guys won't see that until they are happy and satisfied to launch it. For example, they've probably been working on this Android update now for the last couple of months. Um, and when people say, oh, but they've been updating the live version of the game so many times that it still hasn't fixed the issues until today. Well, that's because they were still working on the major update. So what they were, what those mini updates were doing was potentially, like, you know, adding some different movement aspects. Yeah, fair enough. But it's mainly down to adding the store items, adding new weapons, new iron sights, attachments. They're just doing the minor things. Now, these big updates, like the one that you're watching right now on Will Smith's um, screen, these updates come like once every six months. It's like a major, huge update. Of course, once the global launch comes out now, it's probably going to be every season that you're going to be seeing absolutely insane um, changes. But that is one of the biggest things that a lot of like players don't understand is that, you know, they, they give hate and they moan about this and this and this. But the developers can see what's wrong with their own games and they can hear what the community is saying. But when it comes to the point where you guys are hating so much and you have no understanding of what they're working on in the background until they just launch it, this is it. Now, potentially, what you could probably argue with is, you know, developers, even in the betas, um, and then, of course, in global launch and in soft launch or whatever, make sure that you're you're transparent with what you're working on, potentially. Um, even if you put into brackets, like, um, you know, potentially not releasing next update, you know, whatever. Just a clear communication is always needed with what's coming and what's being worked on and what's being fixed. I truly believe that is what's needed. Um, but overall, iOS update is always late. So we're probably going to get this update on iOS either tonight or tomorrow. Um, I can't see it being delayed any further than that. And even potentially, we might not even get an update at all until global launch on iOS because iOS still does run good, but it is choppy. But looking at this gameplay from Rose Smith, this looks ridiculous like absolutely ridiculous uh, this is smoother than ios right now because on ios you cannot run on high graphics on the big warzone map you can on resurgence and multiplayer but on the big map you have to run on low otherwise you get massive fps spikes but overall listen guys go check out Rose smith like i said me and him we've got some banging videos planned i r l videos Coming soon on uh, with Wars on Mobile, and I can't wait to show that with you. But Roast is a good friend of mine, and I think uh, he's going to do really well in this video. So I'll leave his uh, channel link in the description down below. Go check him out. And ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed this video. The new update is here. Download it now. And if you can't download it because you're not in the region, all you need to do is just literally change your region to Germany or Malaysia, and you can download it. You only need a VPN to open the game up. Once the game's already opened, you can close the VPN down to get the lowest ping. But ladies and gents, drop a like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.